And this is the last tonight from the excellent Cow Cube repeat session. Your choice. This is George. <laughs> not alone in thinking that Cow Cube is excellent judging from the emails. There's one here for example from Oscar Marsh saying can you tell Cow Cube if he's listening that he's excellent and uh, he probably isn't listening or he might be listening by now he wasn't earlier on because uh, when our Flossie came back from the pub she said that he was still in the pub and still drinking so uh, anyway Cow Cube if you are listening to this late stage of the proceedings uh, thanks very much for the session and we look forward to your next one and to your next demo CD as well uh, where are we now? This is Cow Cube and hmm, ouch <laughs> that? It's one of the most exciting sounds in the world. Bongo. Everybody's doing it. Ouch! <laughs> well, everybody's trying to do it. But now, anyone, and that means you, can really play bongo. It's easy. It's exciting. It's fun. Listen. Sit on the front of your chair. Place the bongos between your legs, a little below the knees. It shouldn't take much pressure to keep them there. Now that's the correct way to hold bongos. The smaller, higher pitched drum is on the left. the heads 
of the bongos away from you at about a 45 degree angle. Relax. Make yourself as comfortable as possible. And now you're ready to play bongo. A sharp, clear sound is produced by striking the drum head with a forefinger about three quarters of an inch from the edge of the drum. Now strike sharply, making sure the other three fingers are extended. and wrist to be relaxed, but firm. Remember, always keep the other three fingers extended. If they fold under, you may skin your knuckles on the rim of the drum. Strike each drum a few times. First with the right forefinger. Then the left. By experimenting, you'll find where your drum gives the sharpest, clearest sound. Too far toward the center, it's tubby and hollow. At the edge, it makes very little sound at all. So find the right spot and try to hit it there each time. Now, stop this record for a while and practice, producing a good sound. Well, geez, uh, that's Cow Cube, and the track's called Ouch, and at least, uh, I think there's, yes, there is one more track from Cow Cube before the end of the program. Here's more Cow Cube.
The wide dynamic range, as he used to be styled on that, caused a moment of panic at the beginning, I have to say. I thought there was nothing happening. That's Cow Cube, though. Uh, Super Music Boy is the title of it. And uh, in case you don't know about Cow Cube, well, he's 22-year-old Paul Stimson, who comes from Stone Market. He's about three or four miles away from it, as I speak, I suspect. And he started making music about ten years ago with his computer Atari ST and keyboard, but only became Cow Cube three years ago. He's upgraded to a PC, but has dreams of one day owning a laptop. And he's unsigned, but he's hoping to have a new four-track demo finished in the near future and he's compiled his first three demos onto one 14-track CD, which is available via his uh, email for just ten quid. Here's another one from CowQ. It's called Truffle Shuffle. Fresh. Fresh. Like you, I keep reading about millionaire DJs, and if I was one of them, uh, I should use the money to start a record label, and one of the first people I would sign, if not the first, would be CowQ. That was CowQ in session, and Truffle Shuffle.